Hello, so we are back and we have a job. This is an interesting job. So this is a HP laptop. Um, the problem with this one was booked in with not coming on, not charging. And you can see it's not charging like that. You can see must be the, the LED should come on and it's not charging like pressing the power button and nothing happened. It's just that, okay? I unplugged the, the USB ribbon cable. Well, let's do some test inside. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> the 90 volts, you can check on those uh, dual MOSFETs here. Check on the screen. We do have 19. The 3.3, we have the Super I.O. We have the BIOS chip. We do have the we have like 3.1 this power supply probably is the ram one and this one is the 5 volts which is on now what i see and i'm i'm just curious that's not the only problem because i can see something and uh, this is the meaning of being unlucky okay so have a look here have a look I mean, that's a super I.O. And it's looking good. Yeah. Apart from two pins. You can see. So actually in two pins, they have some liquid damage there. I mean, that can be only the reason why this laptop actually is not working. Just to have a bridge between two pins. I mean, if those two pins are from like uh, the crystal, the os oscillator, yeah? Okay, can make sense. So, the guy was so unlucky. Actually, a drop of water reached there through the back. So, probably from one of those holes. I'm just curious. So, the level is dead right now. What I will do, I'll unplug the charger. Unplug the battery. I'm just curious, is only that, just because of that two pins, the laptop is dead? Okay, we took out the battery, let's clean it. And uh, let's see. I mean, are, there are so many pins. But just to be that unlucky, so the water get got exactly a bit of that two pins, which will make your laptop dead. Hmm? Yeah? It's working. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we clean there. Hopefully it's clean. Now let's plug the battery, let's plug the charger. And no, the laptop is still dead. Uh, I was hoping, you know, it's only that, that's the problem. Ah, no, it's, wait, it's still a bridge there, right? You can see it, it's still a bridge there. Let me unplug the charger, unplug the battery. Uh. So here is a small bridge, right? <laughs> Let's uh, let's clean it again, okay? And test. I mean, it's weird. Everything is fine. Everything looks fine, apart from the fact it's not working, right? So the bridge is gone.
I mean, it looks like, right? It is clean, I can see it's clean. Yeah, 100% no, it's fine. Wait, it's still hot? Plug in the charger. And it's working. Unbelievable. So just that two pins was the issue. You can see the charging light and the power on light. I can't believe. Power on. Oh, sorry, the ribbon cable is out. But wasn't the, the charging light or the power on light, nothing there. Yeah, and it's working. Just wait because we reset the BIOS. We have to wait a little bit. Yeah, you can see the message on the screen. Enter reboot the system. It's insane. Just a drop of water with your two pins. Crazy. It's a crazy fault. I mean, how can I even explain to the customer if he asks me, you know, for what you are charging me? And I will say, you know, I just. You have a drop of water that's all crazy fault so usually if you have a drop of water i don't think it's that much problem yeah or can be a problem can be different problem you can have a like i don't know startup sequence issue or uh, coming go goes off if are on the pins controlling the power go signal or if you have with the pins speaking with the super i you'll have no picture so the, the the startup sequence it will not start or if you have an issue between the pins and the buyer same thing but most of the time the super io it will start because it's reading the power button it will try to start the board but not but I think this has internal oscillator, oscillator, oscillator. I don't know how it's in English. It can be an internal one. I don't see it external. One second. <clears throat> hmm. Can be on the other side of the board, but I can see. I don't know, I know on the old laptops they have, uh, one second, which one was, was this one, can be relayed uh, with, uh, with the internal oscillator, yeah, those are the, those pins, strange, pretty strange fault, but I'm happy it's fixed, <laughs> it's just an idea, how, uh, you have to inspect the board just because to avoid this because if you don't see that draw you will end up with with nothing like we quitting fixing the laptop i mean everything is fine nothing short the voltage is right but the laptop is not coming on and uh, most likely you'll think okay we have a dead super io can be actually that this super io was dead because of that drop of water Okay, so I'll stop now. Well, you know, just inspect the board 
especially from where do you think the water comes? Because it came only from the keyboard or from the back cover. If you know what, and this back cover, this has nothing. You know that that's just a cheap laptop. But usually they have like a a kind of material here, like a kind of uh, not grill uh, mash. Mash. That's the name. Yeah? To prevent water's going inside. Hmm. Pretty strange. So I'm happy it's fixed. Anyway, just a short one. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.